you don't have any clue, you have no idea what this is all about. Okay? And I know that you think you do. You think you know how this works and what being spiritual is and what awakening is and all that stuff. I promise you that you do not. You have no idea how this works because you're circumscribed by false beliefs about yourself. And that includes your false beliefs about God and about being spiritual, right? <clears throat> so this is a challenge to you in your mind because who you think you are is the beliefs that you brought with you. And in this place, those beliefs are being challenged. Every one of them has to be challenged because none of them are true. So, so this, we call this is an, in, an encounter with the resurrected mind of Jesus Christ, which is exactly what it is. <clears throat> that encounter has been going on since the beginning, but in this scenario, we're actually admitting to that encounter between the nothingness of the idea about yourself and the everything that you are represented by Jesus Christ. So that's bound to be slightly disturbing. <laughs> right? In fact, it represents the greatest threat to you in the establishment of who you think you are that this world contains. We've been doing this. We've been doing it for long enough to see, you know, everyone is the same. To see that everyone is the same. I know you want to be very special and you've got special problems, but everyone is exactly the same. <clears throat> an ego is an ego, and the mechanisms that behind your determination to be who you think you are not are exactly the same for, for every individual consciousness, and the undoing occurs in exactly the same way. <clears throat> you need a miracle, and you are entitled to miracles, and miracles are occurring here, now, and all the time. They're all around us, and uh, you want them. <laughs> you want them, you're entitled to them. God is offering to them to you, and God wants you to offer them to your brother because you are one with God and it's in offering miracles that you will remember that you are as God created you and that you are one with your Father in holiness in peace at one with your brother every individual consciousness one with all of life and all of creation and you are unlimited in power and in peace and that you have a very uh, important function which to, is to save the world that you made. <clears throat> this world cannot be saved unless you find salvation for yourself. That's a relationship that is fundamental to this spiritual program of restoration of knowledge. <clears throat>